so is that okay for you, what you can see now? That's fine by me. I can see Perfect. the game perfectly. Right, so I can't hear the game audio, so if there's a strange animal noise, <laughs> I don't want to know about it. I, I can't either. Oh, so no, that's okay. That'll be, a, <laughs> that'll be a special thing just for the viewers at home. Oh, my God, no, we'll have to Which, watch it. Which, by the way, guys, see. if you can hear this, I didn't do my job properly and cut this out. <laughs> Scott, like, it's fine. Don't worry. It's all it's all in a streamer's <laughs> like day's work. Like, like anyone gives a shit. Literally nobody this is, does. <laughs> You know what, we'll call this into like a glimpse into our life. <laughs> this is the part where you pretend you haven't been trying to set up your game for the last 35 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've literally just turned it on, it was all perfect, obviously. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, I didn't get here till 25 minutes you ago. You were fine. late to the party, let's be honest. I was. But. So, we'll Planet play- Zoo! Planet Zoo! Which. It's Planet Zoo. Obviously, is great. It's obviously been out a little while now, but the benefit of playing it now is that we've got our bearings a bit on the mechanics, so it's not me getting frustrated, and there's a lot more animals and stuff, so, you know, you've got more options with what you're playing with, so that's always good. And this was, uh, this was obviously intentional, like, I know we said we were going to play it, like, two years ago when it came out, when we were doing Zoo Tycoon Radical Remake. But we thought it'd be better to wait two years till it was all complete, and then we could do a proper LP. <laughs> that is of it. exactly that the conversation. To That's the conversation that took place. Just so you, just so everyone's yeah. aware, it wasn't that we didn't. So have when time we put those or... tweets out, <laughs> or things happened in our private life that meant we didn't do YouTube for about eighteen months, that wasn't it. That Nothing was literally, it. yeah, it was all part of the bigger plan of playing Planet Zoo two years after it was out. So those tweets that said coming soon. In the grand scheme, <laughs> two years, short amount of time. It is really. When you think about it. So I want no It feels problems. like it now that I'm 28 years old. Oh, don't. I'm creeping dangerously close to 30 here. But. I was going to say, you know that thing where. Um, oh, can you can start playing, by the way. I'm just going to. I'm just going to have my little existential crisis. You just. I was, yeah, was going to explain <laughs> what, what version we were playing on. That's why I was oh, Okay, waiting. sorry. I'll have my existential crisis you in a minute. Have, what you have version your of this zoo building it... <laughs> game are we playing, Jess? <laughs> you have your crisis while it takes 40 minutes for it to load on my shit computer. So, okay. I'm at the helm today. Scott's usually at the helm, yep. but it is me. So That's because this isn't an action game and therefore doesn't require <laughs> reflexes or there is no, hand-eye coordination. <laughs> there's no panic, difficulty, uh, <laughs> all the things that I can't do. So... I was going to say, don't rule them out completely. No. Mistakes can be made. Last they time, The first time we played can. this, the only time I've played this with you, just for the, we tried to make snow leopards, and what we actually made was a farm, <laughs> not a zoo, <laughs> because the people couldn't access most of them, and it was just ten exhibits where we swapped them around <laughs> in selective breeding to cre- create mountains of snow leopards. But so we're going to avoid we, doing that because you know what you're we, doing now. We don't definitely you? are. So yeah, I've play, I play this in my spare time. What little I actually have of that. But I do enjoy this game. So I'm not an expert, but I have a. I in know fact, what she was just are. telling me. She was just telling me before this started that she's the best zoo maker there ever was. <laughs> that every animal is always entirely happy. No guests complain. Yep. And everything, and all the money gets made in like minutes. <laughs> it's just so, a rumor to prepare. me that like protesters turn up. That's a rumor. I've never <laughs> experienced that happen. So <laughs> you'll have to tell me, guys, is that real? Because if it is, you're not doing a very good job. <laughs> Consider us the Democratic People's Republic of Planet Zoo. There are protesters <laughs> that are foreign backed governments, but in reality, everybody loves us. Yeah, basically. Overall, we've got every a big green zoo, smiley face. Every single person. Exactly. So, yep. I'll explain From what everyone. we're going to... 100% approval. What we're going to play on today is we're going to do challenge, because it's the best one. So, franchise, to be honest, I couldn't really get into it too much. Timed, go away. No one wants to do that. So, challenge, basically, is building a zoo, but you have constraints of, like money and what animals are actually available and things so it's trying to make it as realistic as possible of running a zoo so that's the version we're going to play are you happy is with that it? the one that's closest that's the one that's closest to the version we played on zoo tycoon where that's it's right, build yeah. your zoo that's right and you'll get challenges but it's basically up to you to decide how long you want to go for that is absolutely correct and you start with about oh okay. God, 30 grand or something in this one the, you, there is none of that Ooh, start with a million pound if you want 
No. You start mm. with what they tell you to. Look, yeah. these are my saves. The, <laughs> the high. I like the way that you used to do that. <laughs> yeah, I see. You used to do that and like start on a campaign on Zoo Tycoon. I'm like, oh, I'm not going sandbox, but I'm starting with two and a half million dollars. <laughs> because I didn't want to be a big May as loser. Well be sandbox <laughs> at this point. So this is you can use your planet to click. Okay. Which is pretty cool. I do but... love this map. Incidentally, I should mention. Um, obviously, anybody watching this knows all about this game, probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, but a lot of the people who worked on this originally worked on Zoo Tycoon 2 in particular. So that's why um, it's awesome, obviously. It is. I was literally going to say, it's why we can consider this Zoo Tycoon 3 awesome. in a lot of ways. Um, oh, yeah, Which absolutely. is something that we've wanted for 20 years now. I mean, Zoo Tycoon, Zoo Tycoon 2... It's like my favorite game of all time. Like it, nothing can beat it. Like until this game, obviously. But it was just how it was made, the way they made, like just everything about it was great yeah. for me. It was my ideal game. Um, you go ahead and pick your biome wherever you like, by well, the way. But there is a trick to this, Scott. I will all tell right. you all about it because I'm sure everyone okay. already knows. Educate so, the viewers. Go on. In your exhibits, it say right. you want a lion, right? Big lion. Yeah. Lion, big lion, big big lion, Rory, right? Rory the lion, <laughs> Rory the lion. Yeah. And you, oh, I want to. I tell you what, I'm going to build a zoo in the fucking Arctic Circle, right? You can do Excellent. that if you want. Lions of lion but, tundra. Let's go. <laughs> what is the problem there? What could potentially lions be don't the issue? like snow? Absolutely. So, what do you need to do? Not what, big would... <laughs> in the tundra. <laughs> no, you have to put heaters in the exhibit. But oh, okay, I see. It's kind of an extra thing that you need to worry about. So it's yeah. the same for like, especially if you pick certain areas, the winter is snowy and in minus numbers, but the summer is like 30 degrees. So you've got animals that it's either too cold in the winter for them or too hot in the summer. For, it's a fucking nightmare, right? So what you're saying is if you want to make like a safari adventure, you shouldn't make it in Norway. <laughs> you should much, make yeah. it somewhere warm. Has yeah. savannas anyway. So okay. the game has, that makes me- sense. you know, the mechanics are there to be able to w- have it anywhere. That's the point. And you oh, can. Oh, yeah, it lets you. But That's it's good. just a bit like, oh, I can't be asked for this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And people walk around the zoo fucking shaking, going, oh, it's too mm. cold. Oh, I'm too hot now. Shut well, don't up. come to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why, are you in the Finland, Ar- then? <laughs> Why are you in the Arctic it's Circle it. anyway then if it's too cold? Why are you walking around Finland in a t shirt, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Recumic. So we're gonna go. I've just picked the cap to the Viking. <laughs> Mr. Recumic. That's so offensive. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. We're gonna go. Sorry, sorry to all Finnish fans and, I and Icelandic do, fans. I always do medium just because it's a big map. You know, like medium Every... is a big map. So medium. I was is just gonna say fair. when it, whenever it comes to size or difficulty or pacing, the midpoint is always good because that's where it was balanced for. That's what. Exactly. Like, that's what things wanted to play for. And honestly, but it's weird. It's it's a really big map for medium as well. Like you'd, like I don't even want to think about how big okay. the, the big one is. It's loads of space, yeah. well enough space to do whatever you want, basically. Is but there course, any downside to having unused space? No, not that I can find. As long as you have a well okay. balanced zoo within the space you're using, it doesn't seem to cause any issues that I can that I found. Right. So. Okay, I okay. think we'll just go medium. Why not? You know, it's fine. Yeah. Down um, the middle, always good. I always go flat as well because you just spend the whole time changing it. So at yeah. least if it's flat, you can then add mountains or whatever. And I assume I mean? that would be if you wanted creatures that liked mountain things, you would go hilly so you didn't have to bother making them and vice versa. But if you're like me and you have a certain way of doing things, I like to have my mountains contained in the exhibit. I don't like okay. trying to build fences over undulations. <laughs> it just see, you know. I I kind of like the look of it once it's done to have like a big hilly world. But I haven't actually played this game that much. I just talk about Super Tycoon. So well, in fairness, I haven't really got. You're the one on the controls. Before. I am. So you're stop a... questioning my judgment. All right. So it it's your decisions at the end of the day. I'm here for observation. So basically, That's... you're going to make loads of suggestions. So I'm going to go. No, I don't want that. And I'm just going to do what I want. And so. then. <laughs> <laughs> and then when it inevitably goes wrong, I'm going to go, ha, see? Well, oh yeah, I was going to say, at least I think I it's a scare, but it discuss, <laughs> I love that we didn't discuss the name, we both know. This is the Games of, of Babylon channel. Of course, of course it's the Hanging Gardens. Why oh, would it not be the Hanging Garden? I didn't even need to think about it. So, here Why we go. Would you? It's a weird, uh, 
it's a weird time capsule this game in that it when I say it's the developers of Zoo Tycoon 2 um, I bring obviously most people who make a certain type of game are people who have worked on that type of game before it's not surprising yeah. um, but this game is very very much uh, if Zoo Tycoon 2 was made in 2020 or 2019 whenever this came out yeah, uh, it's exactly what it is because almost all of the even the visual design is so similar. Um, it's just better and more modern. And like, yeah, look at the grass. For I, know, I just thought every I'd individual show you grade of grass. It yeah, it's really good timing that you did that because like I did it on purpose, bro. Exactly, like better, better looking Amazing. and more work put into the animations and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. essentially, the same formula. This is yeah. what Radical Remake was aiming for. And obviously yes. it's a fan project. It doesn't, it, they're not literally, but this is exactly it. It's Zoo Tycoon 2 modern. And even in like in the design of the big the world that you spin around and pick your biome, if you remember, it is good, you it? picked your biome in the first one by clicking flags on a, an identical globe. Yeah, you um, absolutely did. And it just... I don't know, I just think it just adds something to the game, doesn't it? And it's the fact that where you pick in the world affects, obviously, yeah, the climate, the the way everything, mm. the type of plants that are in it always change. You know, that's... Yeah. I, Zoo Tycoon 2 did that, but this does it even to the next level, you know? Yeah, that's all I mean. It's like, it's the step up. It's Zoo Tycoon 3 in all but name. It um, is, basically. And in a way, I kind of wish that it was still under the old publisher and they could have just had Zoo Tycoon 3 literally be the name of the game. But, but we're not going to yeah, complain because we're happy it exists. It's also... So. Nah, exactly. And also it being in the same kind of game world as Planet Coaster, which is another game we both really enjoyed. Do you want to uh, know something else interesting? Fine, Actually, I just thought of something on. that you'll like on this game. So, you see this? All right. look down here. Can you see we've got yes. 40k? Can you see this tree is already in our parameters? I can. Watch what happens I when it. I delete this tree. Watch the money. Are you watching? Okay. I'm watching. Did you see it what went happened? down. Yep. Yes. So do you remember early Zoo Tycoon? Oh, oh, yeah. The first thing you do on yeah. Zoo Tycoon, you pick the tropical <laughs> map because that has the expensive yeah. trees and you immediately go and delete everything <laughs> to get yourself an extra 10 to 20k. That is absolutely on spot on. And I thought to myself, I'm going to do that. I need I need rid of these fantastic oak trees. Deleted them. Minus a grand by the time I got around the map. I was like, what? Oh. <laughs> so oh. I learned the hard way, And guys. again, genre upgrades that like, yeah, it was a, a fun little thing to learn in Zoo Tycoon 2. But once you learn it, it then becomes a requirement to spend the first 10 minutes of every game deleting all the <laughs> foliage in your zoo, which is yeah. a waste of time and not fun. <laughs> It's, it's a, just suboptimal to not do it. It's a just vicious get rid of it. cycle. I'll tell you that. Best way to get rid of that? Just, yeah, you now lose money for deleting. Don't Isn't build it excellent? in the first place, idiot. Do you know what? Yes. I thought you would appreciate that. So <laughs> I do appreciate that a lot. <laughs> well, I like that a lot. I'll. So before you can start anything on the game, you have to make all the staff facilities because you have to have something mm. for the staff to be able to start your park. Makes sense, really doesn't it? Right. Well, you you just do that, as you say, and then I'll comment as we go. Because um, so, I'm aware we've been filming for like 20 minutes and we've literally just... built that path now <laughs> as the first thing that we've done in our zoo builder. <laughs> That's the path I've chosen for this zoo. It's some kind of logs. Cause it and you complained natural. after we did um, God Hand that I explained all the controls and the mechanics of what I've we were doing in that. Complained. That's really important. I've we spent done. all this time explaining the mechanics of sometimes you need a staff room for your staff. Otherwise, <laughs> the staff room won't have a room. Guess what <laughs> happens if you delete a tree? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to be it's a It's bit... good to know, though. Uh, to be honest, right, so here are your options. So, I always build my big path at the beginning, and then I have a little off section for hmm. the staff buildings because you have to make them from the start. So okay. it's a bit harder to work them into a map you've already got going, if that makes sense. But now I know originally when we did this stuff, we would always build the staff room right at the beginning, like you did there, like yeah. you were about to do. Um, yes. I'm actually now thinking off the top of my head, would it be better to try and put it right in the middle of a park I that did... no one else can really access? I did try that before. And it kind of made it a bit awkward going forward. 
build and stuff, but we can do but that surely if you it, prefer. It, I was going to say, because surely it's going to make it more difficult for them to get to all the places they need to be if they're right in the corner rather so, than in the middle here. Because I can't think Azu's going to be too much bigger. Interesting you like should say that. 10, 15. Okay. <laughs> so, I have never got so big in my zoo that I've needed more than one quarantine, one veterinary surgery, if that makes sense. So, mm. having well, why them in, would you? Really? Exactly. So, having them in one place doesn't really make much difference. But, staff rooms are always an issue. There's never enough space. Yeah. And secondly, keeper huts are only effective, really, if they're near the enclosures. So, if you have a... Uh, okay. You know, if you say you had over up on this corner, we had our staff area. They, you would yeah. have to build keeper huts around dotted around the park for them to be able uh, to so. look after the animals well. So you have to do that anyway, and everything else makes no difference because the animals, the people, don't have to travel from there to exhibits and back again. Pretty often. much, yeah. So, right. The, this other stuff that makes kind sense. Of then. Yeah, build it where you like then. So the vet, obviously, the vet goes around the enclosures and checks on the animals and, and stuff. But yeah. it's not running back here to get something to run back to the enclosure. To, do you see what I mean? So Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. This That's is fine. what I normally do. Or, other thing, yeah. people hate to see staff buildings. If they see I staff's know. buildings, it makes them physically sick. So well, Think about <laughs> it in real life. If you see a toilet... <laughs> what? So if you saw a zookeeper's hut, you'd be physically sick and you'd, you'd give the zoo minus stars? I would storm out there and then. I'd throw my panda hat on the floor, trample it in front of the Zalona, and tell them, can't believe you've done this. That is disgusting. <laughs> I never want to see a keeper hut ever again. So, I am cheating. That is cheating. fucking disgusting. <laughs> you fucking scruffs, you. I can't even sort your park out. Fucking shaggy bastards. <laughs> This is where I forget the buildings I've made. <laughs> so what what you can do is you can build them like this and you can design all the outside. Yeah. But for the sake of getting on with the game, I'm just going to cheat a bit and use the ones that yeah. are already like that. Um, for our, like, Maybe off camera we can design some and then we'll do, you I was know. Just, yeah, I'm just Maybe at some this, point. But you can yeah. do it and we will do it with like our food shops and stuff so they look cool. But just for oh, yeah. the sake of these You want them to be staff. special. These are just staff buildings, so... We don't need to go crazy, mm. do we? So, I always put. A Is our money going down still? Yes, we're on twenty six thousand now. So I was going to say, goes down certain we were, we were. Wait, what? We started forty thousand, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, we've we've. <laughs> you are right. I was, I was literally like, oh. I assume your money goes down for like bills and things, like it always did in every game, because it has to. You can't just sit there doing nothing. Uh, no. I was like, it shouldn't go down that much, but I'm like, oh, we've literally just built like staff. Oh, you forgot we were actually building things. I forgot we'd actually done anything so far in this let's play. <laughs> I apologize. I'm just, I'm just making sure we've got all the buildings. So we've got I see. six there and the seven to build from the start. So this is my little trick, right? It's not an amazing trick, but it's a trick. So I, this use is... this to block all the others. What I do is, so there, doesn't that look like, off? Oh, that doesn't look right, look. Why have you got loads on this side? Yeah. I add my staff rooms along here as time goes on. Oh, so you increase as it goes. Okay. Exactly. So yeah, I, fair enough. I'm waiting for it goes, oh, no available staff room. And I just build another one there. Isn't that clever? Fair do you want to hear my good next plan. clever that is a good plan. So, right on, now, then. those buildings aren't hideously ugly, but the people coming to the zoo will think so. So, you also have to hide them. I think they make me sick. But... <laughs> Personally, yes. I'd be sick if I was looking at them. But you have to yeah. hide them. <laughs> and trees aren't enough from my experience. Oh. Not even a tree can hide this mm -hmm. mess that is this building. No, it can't. Well, so, think <laughs> unless the tree is so walls. thick you can't see around it, I could see bits of that wall and... Mm, it just makes I you couldn't. sick, doesn't it? Really? I just couldn't do that. So yeah. this is I what, wouldn't want to be in that zoo. This is what you need to do. You need to hide. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. I did that wrong. That was so... terrible. Why did you do that? <laughs> like, if I wasn't sick by this already. <laughs> Leave a gap. Uh -huh. Because we're going to put a doorway in it. And if you think, why why haven't you built the Can path? you make an actual doorway? Yeah. Or do you just mean oh, a door? No, it's, like... it's going to be... Oh, perfect. 
Oh, it's like oh, an archway. I was going to say, I thought you'd, like I thought you'd miss time that. No, okay. I never miss. I thought you, yeah. So you'd think. Yeah, to yourself, that hasn't totally happened already. <laughs> Go well, on. I'm, I'm trying to cover all the things I thought to myself. That's not going to play. Told you that one. That Shut one up. was never going to work. Shut up. It's fine. Shut up. Oh, we're not even going to fix it. We're just going to leave it. <laughs> okay. Fine. Look, you making me make mistakes. I didn't do. I didn't make you do anything. Can I so. move these? I can't remember. Exit. Don't just leave it. I don't care. Oh, you've, you've ruined it now. <laughs> you've made it worse. There, look. Are you happy? Uh -huh. Joe, we. Oh no, I'm taking the, just the roof. How off. could I be happy when I'm looking at this disgusting, <laughs> disgusting building? I know. I mean, it, you've come to the zoo. You didn't come to see buildings, did you? you came I didn't to see come for a zoo exhibit. <laughs> like. Didn't this come for the... a zookeeper experience. <laughs> Incidentally, me and my girlfriend were looking at zookeeper oh, experience type it. things at Chester Zoo. Um, just as a side thing, because we love zoos, we love animals. Everyone loves zoos. Uh, they are so expensive and so oh, unavailable all the time. I know. It's amazing. We were looking at, you know, the ones like for lemurs and that. Like, yeah. Is that what you mean? Going in and stroking them and feeding them? And oh, yeah. Yeah, we were looking at red pandas. Do you uh, like my amazing design? Oh, wait, sorry. Didn't put the no. light on. I was going to say, this reminds me a lot of uh, Auschwitz-Birkenau. <laughs> Is that a concentration camp? That's correct. <laughs> well, you know... The people... stone with spikes big enough to hold a titan inside. Yes. Because I do this because I like it to look a bit not a big, just a big square of metal. And if you put two walls on top of each other, it's just too much, you know? We're not then trying to keep them in. Metro prison. There, yeah. look. So that's hidden <laughs> enough. Once I've put that trees around it. That is a concentration camp. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's a con that is the most concentration <laughs> camp I've ever seen. Is this... Oh, by the way, are there keeper-only paths? Is oh, that thing yeah. That was going to be my next okay. thing. So I always yeah, go this dark blue. And I always make it just normal fat. So, oh, yeah. Like that look. What do you think? Okay. And that's, fine. that's that's my trick, everyone. So you see there, the path fits through the doorway perfectly, right? Yeah. If you ever try and build the path then fit the the walls around it, it'll never work. It just okay. it's just impossible to make it work. It's terrible. I doubt that's true, but it is, for it you is it probably is true. impossible. Yes. Look, this is I where you that. watch me struggle to make all these paths um join up. I'm certain there is an Talk easy way to do this. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. I think, no, we're all happy to sit and just watch <laughs> this. You've built them two too close together. Move that See, one. See, look, that one works. Oh, well, good. Look, it's fine. So when Shush. you come into the... Uh, when you look, enter it's fine. Outfit, Shut up. you pick... Whether you want to go to the left or to the right, <laughs> yes. and you have to pick that path. Yes. And otherwise, obviously. you have to exit and come back in again later. Obviously. Have you never been? God. Look. Perfect. I'm trying to think of a cool pun that we can name this room. Because, like, <laughs> you, did you ever hear that thing about Disney employees um, who really hated working at Disneyland started calling it Mousefits? Oh, no. And then when the. Uh, the, the management caught on and, and forced them not to. They started calling it Duckow. <laughs> which terrible. I think is fantastic. You can't and we do need that. A, we need a similarly cool name for Shut our little up. concentration it's camp not for, the, a concentration. for the carers. Look, can you see, though? Can you see how not disgusted <laughs> you are by it now, though? So look, here we are. In that's, a different way. It. But sure, I'm yeah, not in the same Yeah, it's a bit like, what's that be. evil Nazi building off of? <laughs> it's what, it's the ominous building that they've put in the corner of my zoo. Do you like it's it? Like, you know what it's like? Perfect. It's like when you see the staff areas in a real theme park, particularly Disneyland. <laughs> I wonder what horrible, abusive shit goes on in there. Anyway, back <laughs> Look, to the roller coaster. I'm fixing it now. Look, I'm putting yeah. some benches in for them. I'm going to put yep. some... Uh, why is that path a different colour? Oh, for shut up. Who did care. this? Who made this? You. <laughs> you. Who did this? You did it Who all. Who did this? this you did this whole monstrosity. And look, You could always... save it if you put like a lamppost in that little gap between the two look, buildings. I put plants in and everything. Sometimes okay. I put blossom trees in too. There's loads of trees. And they, I love it. 
They love it. There actually is loads of trees at Auschwitz. It's kind of weird. Uh, In fact, there isn't. There's barely any trees. Stop referring to our zoo as Auschwitz, please. It's not the zoo. It's just this area. Look at all these. We have. Plants. It's not a zoo yet. There's no animals. It's, just, it's a camp. It's literally at the <laughs> Look, minute just oh, a concentration camp. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Very beautiful. To very be fair, nice. it affects the like efficiency of the buildings and stuff if they're awful. Like if the area is mm. awful. Oh yeah, well it will. So we. Need I don't want to work in Auschwitz. Well, these guys do. So. Yeah. You just got to. Well, no, they the don't. They want it. Auschwitz, but with some pretty flowers. Exactly, so it's fine. They don't hate it. There we go, look. Could that be any nicer? Don't think so. Probably, but I'm, I'm not, not covering in this because I'm going to put stuff in it. That's why. Well, yeah. How are the path's going to get past those benches? Oh, we'll I'll, deal with that later. I'll just move the benches, won't I? Okay, fine. Bloody yeah. Big hell. baby. Bloody. Big baby. You're the big baby. You're the baby. <laughs> You're the baby. <laughs> You're a baby. If anyone's a baby, it's you. you. <laughs> There we so, go, look. Perfect. Oh, yeah, and light the doorway so in case anyone escapes, we can see them. <laughs> Should have spotlights on the I was going to say, we need a big tower, don't we? <laughs> like, yeah. The, we the marksman stands. There yeah. we go. Look, it's perfect. The, the sure. people in the black mask that no one's ever seen their face sit in. So like... you think that's not amazing? Because you're wrong. Because it looks brilliant. As in a fact... zoo, it's lacking some animals. <laughs>